hello friends three books for beginners if you are a beginner for reading then these three books you have to read if you want to speak confidently and fluently these three books are very easy books as a beginner you have to read these books so guys just stick with this video and understand which are those books and how to read those books come on let's start Dear friends, in, in all my videos, I have told about reading. It's very important. But many of you uh, to ask me in the comments, I mean, that sir, we don't know which books to read. So in this video, I'm going to talk about which are the three easy books which you can read, which will help you to develop your fluency, to develop your English, to develop your vocabulary, as well as to develop your wisdom, knowledge also. So in that regard, definitely today I'm going to share three books of one great author, which most of you know and this author doesn't need any introduction actually she is very famous in india and the author is sudha murthy amazing lady she has written many books but i have chosen these three books which really i thought like they are amazing and they they are easy also easy to understand they have a good message also they have easy english also and you, they are interesting. I mean, it's not like boring and dull, which you will keep down after reading for four or five pages. No, these books are really nice. You will finish those books once you pick them up. So in that sequence, the first book, which I want, I mean, there is no countdown list, like all the books are equal. The first book is 3000 Stitches. Now this book, what she has written is really nice. Uh, of, of course, you know, all of you, she's a great great philanthropist she always helps all through infosys foundation and in that book she has told about uh, when she went to, to uh, went and uh, you know contacted some some women who who were having some adverse con who were living in adverse conditions they are called as devdasis so she went there she helped them and she understood their problems and also she did some mistakes also while dealing with this situation this book talks about her philanthropic work her journey into the great work she's doing, the difficulties she faced, and of course, it in, at the end she received um, a cloth. Uh, we can say like a bedsheet cloth, which was gifted by those um, devdasis, those women whom she helped. Initially, they were living a miserable life, but after the help, after the help, they started uh, working and they stitched that. I I, I guess it was three thousand stitches for that particular cloth. I guess it was the bedsheet cloth, right? And it's an amazing book. You must read this book. And it will really help you to develop your fluency. And the words which you which she has used are very easy and they are in regular use. Go with this book. All these books, the links are given in the description. Now, one more thing before you go ahead, I want to share here is I have started my podcast also. So if you are interested, I mean, uh, I have spoken about communication, I have spoken about everyday psychology, I have spoken about meditation, I have spoken about handling the stress and public speaking, all those things I have covered. So next time, if you're walking somewhere, just plug in my podcast, they're available on all platforms. Name of the podcast is Dr. Sandeep Patil Podcast. Coming back to our topic. The second book, it's a, again, a, a really nice book, very helpful. How I Taught My Grandmother to Read. This is the book. And this book is all about her childhood days. I mean, when she was, uh, she of course is from a very humble background, uh, uh, brought, born and brought up in village. And she she had a grandmother. And, uh, you know, the story goes like, there used to be some uh, stories which, uh, which she used to read for her grandmother. And they were really spiritual, re really nice. Grandmother loved those stories. And then one day what happened is she, I mean, she was only hardly 12 years old. She left the village for some work and she went for one week away. So uh, when she came back, she saw that her grandmother was sobbing. She was crying. And the reason was she was so hurt, so sad that she couldn't uh, read the stories because she was illiterate. And then Sudhamurthy as a child started taking lessons, started teaching her grandmother how to read. Of course, this this shows that how mature she was at the age of 12. Then uh, her grandmother was a very nice student and one very nice uh, scene, uh, one real incident is that where her grandmother touches her feet and it was really uh, oh. bizarre or in Indian tradition we don't do that. And she did but she said that no I'm not touching your feet, I'm touching my teacher's feet. So amazing book, riveted, it will keep you, it's a page turner actually, very nice. 
and it's all connected with our everyday life so you will not feel alienated you will not feel like what's what i'm reading i mean i don't understand very nice book definitely read that book links in the description third book is also very important it's about dollar bahu old book she has penned but nice book this this talks about the the changing uh, financial conditions and uh, situations in india especially and how the dollar and the money has become more important than the culture and than the tradition and the values and she talks about a family where uh, one girl is married who who is not that rich but she is really uh, very humble uh, taking care of everyone and there is another daughter in the same home who is in us and she is earning dollars but this um, in laws this mother in law things like my f- my first that is the uh, older daughter in law is not that rich but my second daughter in law who is in us earning dollars she is rich and she is nice but actually when she goes there she realizes that her thinking was wrong what they think is only money and you know gadgets and uh, all these things they really don't matter much what also matters is your values and your love so this is dollar bahu very nice book we need this this culture we need these values today we have to understand that only money doesn't matter what matters is the feelings the love the empathy and the compassion great book these three books are really great i i request you to finish those books and tell me i mean what do you feel about any other books of sudha murthy's which you have read which you really liked write in the comment i'll also tell about which books i have finished i mean consumed and which books you feel is the greatest work of sudha murthy it was pleasure talking to you take care and happy reading goodbye all of you thank you Thank you.